This research studies a phenomenon that everyone has experienced, a cracking of your knuckles. It's been mysterious for a long time what exactly is causing that cracking. And a lot of people thought that the cracking happened after the knuckle was pulled, then when it goes back, it, it, the cracking happens then. But what we've shown in this study is that the cracking happens right when you first pull the, the knuckle. Gas is formed inside the joint right when you first do the extension part. The reason that's important is because there are two kinds of mechanisms that could be causing the cracking. If it was cavitation, then that's a type of mechanism that can damage a joint. So the question is whether uh, cracking your knuckle is harmful. And if it's cavitation, then it can be probably more harmful than if it's uh, this tribonucleation, which is what we now think it is. That We now understand when in the process the cracking happens, we know that it's a phenomenon that has a good basis in physics, and we understand what might be causing it, so we can study it further. Should you crack your knuckles hundreds of times a day? Probably not, but we can't tell you at this point from this study what that means. That was part of the adventure here, was to try and capture the, the cracking in uh, fast enough MRI sequences that we could catch it. it you just catch it on a few frames of an MRI scanner, even using our fastest sequences we can. It all happens within milliseconds, so that was the art of it, and what uh, Dr. Thompson, the uh, sort of the MRI physicist, uh, had quite a bit to do with was to uh, be able to capture that properly.